Goodbye, stone face. I'm getting very sleepy. <laughs> Tom has a two too thievery. thievery. He could try to... Should we try to get through those doors? Yeah, yeah let's give it a whirl. All right. All right. Bluebell. <laughs> All right. 17 plus 2, 19. Nicely done. Ooh. All right. Uh, Bluebell fidgets with the locking mechanism, and you hear a loud click, uh, which signifies the doors have been breached. No spiders. Ah, right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so Bluebell's head goes somewhere. <laughs> when you uh, push the doors open, they squeal on old hinges, and you see the room beyond very much like that. There is a dais, basically a raised Ooh. section with some steps leading up, and the dais is bare. Um, there are four iron drums set into the floor here, and behind them, giant dwarf statues with big hammers. But I love the drums. <laughs> if we're if we're tough, we could we could win our way out. Or if we're tough, we can. Why don't we try really carefully just to walk to the other doors? I, I, I love can that. Be stealthy. <laughs> what if we got through the whole thing with the <laughs> other <laughs> combat? The other thing you notice is that should be our new goal. The other thing you notice when uh, Bluebell opens the door is there's this sort of gust of very cold air, and the floor in there is. In fact, everything is glazed in ice. It's visibly. <laughs> it's very, very cold. Hmm. The floor, the floor looks very slippery. Sorry. Very slippery. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm following you. Thank you so much. What would you like to do now? Is there already honey and stuff in here? Ah, oh, thanks. It's great. Dealings with cold abilities. Yeah, it's perfect. Hmm. You think we? What you think we might get frozen? Uh, maybe uh, ice? You've all got things like torches and stuff like that. Um, you, none of you have anything to dispel cold. Doesn't sound like we need to. I was say, let's yeah. just try and walk. Across. As long as we keep moving, I think we're good. <laughs> They're just. What could go wrong? <laughs> I'm down for that. <laughs> we're just gonna go across to the other door, Dan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right behind someone. All right. Now, does Bluebell, do you still want to go first? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. So Bluebell is leading the way. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a preference for where you're going straight across, mm -hmm. around? Let's go straight across. Oh, Nothing's probably going on with that no, dais. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing going on with a dais. I don't know if All I would have done that. Cross me, I'm a dais. I just want to stay away from those giant hammers. When uh, Bluebell takes his first step on the dais, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you had to go on it. Uh, you can see that uh, the ceiling, by the way, is about 25 feet overhead and kind of vaulted, and there are icicles hanging from it, like the moisture came down through the roof and then froze. Uh, the dais kind of lights up with ruins. Uh, glyphs appear on the stone. Like, be, like Billy Jean. And at this point in time, you see ice begin to break away from the statues as oh, they move no. their hammers down and just pound on the iron drums. Uh, Maybe they're here to help. All right. <laughs> well, let's go back to the Toughness face. and wit. Toughness and wit. So at this point in time, I would like uh, to know everybody's fortitude defense because the sound of these drums is horrifically powerful thunderously loud and you can either look at your little cheat sheet card for a fort or you can look on your big character sheet 13 12, 12 16 17 15 all right I rolled a 14 on an attack roll so anybody who has a fortitude defense of higher than 14 is safe ah those of you oh, who have, you have 12, 15. Oh, those of you who have 14 or lower, take five thunder damage. Ah, so that comes oh. off of your hit points. Thunder yes, and you are momentarily deafened. Oh. In addition, something materializes in the middle of the dais, and it looks exactly like this. Aha, uh -huh, we can use wow, that. Just awesome. like it's conjured out of nowhere. A gigantic dragon headed ballista machine. Like you should hop on that. Yeah. I'm going to drive yeah. this thing through the, these dungeons. And uh, 
At this time, we are entering combat, so I'd like everybody to roll an initiative check. That is uh, a d20 roll plus a bonus. You can look at your little card cheat sheet for init, I-N-I-T. It's under your uh, hit points and your speed. Is it also I-N-T? Yeah. No, that's intelligence. Oh, that's intelligence. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if it's on right your there. big character sheet, um, it's uh, right. so a little hard 16? to see. It's in the top left. Oh, top. in it plus three. Yeah. There you go. Right, plus this one, right? Yeah, so, so it's 16. a d20 roll plus that bonus. I've got a 15 in it. All right, to go on. so Bluebell rolls a 15. Steel Diamond has an 18. 18. Jaundice? Jaundice has 12. 12. Ranrock? 12. 12. And uh, Kai Nuksin? <laughs> 16. All right. Uh, Steel Diamond, you are the first to go. Uh, Steel Diamond looks through his cards. Okay. And doesn't really... What is this, by the way? Thanks for asking. No. You all have a special card no. called Action Point. We do. Once during the encounter, you can spend that card to get an extra action. Mm. So you like, could attack twice, for instance. On your turn, now that we're in combat, uh, for those of you who don't know, you can basically do three things on your turn. One is called a standard action, which is normally an attack. One is called a move action, which lets you move up to your speed. Most of you move about five or six squares. And the third is called a minor action, which is really only good for things like opening and closing doors, pulling something out of a backpack, really just incidental actions. And you can do those in any order. So you can move, attack, you can attack, move, you can, pulse, you can draw a weapon, attack, move, that kind of thing. So, Steel Diamond is the first to go. So, is this like 3-5 where I can move and attack? Yes, movement? absolutely. Okay. So, in a mad rage, I'm <laughs> going to... <laughs> what are we fighting? You're on a hair trigger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're fighting some sort of construct. Oh, we're fighting, oh, we're fighting that? Well, it's up to you. Nothing's moved yet. Uh, there's also, here. There's also here. the statues. The statues hit the um, And you see the statues are just sort of pulling their hammers back. They look more like just uh, like machines, um, mechanical we things. Stop. We need to stop that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So. Can we just leave? <laughs> I, don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what we're fighting. Can we just try to make, make it across this room and get out of here? <laughs> oh, to those other doors? Yeah. I you, you could run over there. If initiative say, was rolled, we're not the only ones who rolled it. I, I'm going to jump to take inappropriate conclusions. All right, excellent. Before you do that, do me a do me a favor. Because you moved uh, more than two squares, and this is not something you would know ahead of time, and the floor is ice, I need you to make an acrobatics check for me. So it's on your skill list near the top. A one. Oh my gosh. So when you, that's like an ace. It could be like a thirteen. When you get into this square, you go whoop. <laughs> And that uh, never comes uh, down. Uh, although, you're prone, although you're prone, though, it doesn't keep you from attacking. It just means that you're, you take a penalty of minus two when you attack. All right, I'm going to still swing that sword. All right. Uh, you try to hit the statue in a place in order to disable it. Do I keep going when I fall because it's icy? Or s uh, kind of. You just kind of slide up against the uh, base of the statue. Uh, make an attack roll. Um, this is probably a basic attack for you. So on your character sheet, uh, you should have where your weapon is listed. Do you see oh, that? Well, About basic, atta basic attacks. Yeah. Three. Okay. So I roll oh, another one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <So> four total. Send the mail instigator. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, guys. Whoa. <laughs> they, don't, <laughs> they don't tactically know we've even attacked at this point, <laughs> so we can still we can still, we can still turn turn away. and walk out. All right. <laughs> Much to their amusement. When you are close enough to the statue to see, you can see it's sort of part of a trap in this room. Uh, it looks like it could be disabled by damaging it or by using like a thievery check to kind of disable it. Uh, you could also invoke ancient uh, arcane rituals to kind of deactivate it. So there are all kinds of ways to handle these things. Okay. Uh, after uh, Steel Diamond has his moment, <laughs> <laughs> it is the Goliath's turn. Yeah! <laughs> what does that mean?